This hotel is home to dozens of migrants, including Hussein. Every morning, he leaves to head to work. He has a full-time paid job with a charity, despite there still being no decision on his asylum claim. His work permit was granted because it's over a year since he arrived in the UK and the delay in processing his claim is due to the Home Office backlog. You're living in a hotel, all expenses paid by the taxpayer. Some people would say, why should you have the right to work and earn money? <laughs> Life is not only eating and sleeping. As an asylum seeker, we come to this country. This is the system right now. They have hotels for us. We need to wait in these hotels until the process get done. And this is all comes from my financial, from money. If you don't work, you don't get. Like Hussein, the other men in his hotel in Staffordshire also came over on small boats, and many are becoming eligible to work. What are your aspirations for the future? Immigration rules mean anyone waiting for an asylum decision for more than a year can legally work in jobs on the UK's shortage occupation list, as long as the processing delay isn't their fault. This is the wrong from the government, not me. I didn't choose to come to stay in hotel. Khalid says he doesn't want to be a burden on UK taxpayers. If I start work, I will not stay in the hotel. You know, if I can buy rent or do something, you know. Arish volunteers in a soup kitchen while waiting for his work permit to be granted. He told me many asylum seekers work anyway for cash, so it's better if they can earn legitimately. And the growing backlog means tens of thousands now potentially can, even though their asylum claims could ultimately be dismissed. I've seen a significant increase. This immigration lawyer in Oldham gets daily calls from asylum seekers eligible to work. I can understand why the public would be outraged. So ultimately, what I would like to see the immigration system doing is processing their applications quicker, then we wouldn't have this situation. But some argue the rules need to change to make Britain less attractive. There was perhaps a case for it when there were far fewer people in the asylum system. Um, but at the moment, it's clearly acting as a, a massive pull factor for people coming here. The Home Office told Sky News that pressure on the asylum system has continued to grow, which is why they've taken immediate action to speed up processing times and cut costs. But many are now legally making a living with no guarantee they'll be allowed to continue their life here. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Staffordshire.